Hi there, my name is Rusty Skaggs. I'm with Ream. I want to talk to you just for a couple minutes about some troubleshooting on different things. First, we're going to talk about pilot assemblies and gas valves. How to test them with your multimeter, things to check, uh, thermal couple, how to check your thermal couple, how to check the uh, ECO in your gas valve. If you're not aware, the ECO in your gas valve, unlike a, an electric heater where it's on your thermostat, the ECO is actually inside the probe that's inside your heater. It's a fusible link that melts if the water temperature reaches over over 190 degrees. If that happens, this thing's going to act just like you've got a bad thermal couple. When you go to light it, your pilot will light, but then it's going to go immediately right back out because it doesn't have a complete circuit. And we're going to show you how to test that here in just a second. The other thing we'll show you how to test is how to test your thermal couple itself to make sure it's working and where to test on this gas valve for that ECO. So let's get started. This is the meter I'm using here. Any meter will work, multimeter. I do recommend that you get a multimeter that has that beep or audible tone. Uh, reason for that, a lot of times is when you're testing this ECO in the gas valve, for instance, that valve's mounted in there. You need to test it here where the, the uh, thermal couple screwed in. You can't see it, so you need to be able to tell if you're hitting where you need to. Okay, so let's test this ECO first. And the way we're going to do that, your gas valve is mounted. You undo underneath your gas valve, you take your thermal couple out, unscrew it, take it out. Now you're going to test inside, that's where you're going to hit your, your probe for your meter to see if you got continuity through there so that fusible link is good or not. That's what you're trying to see. You need to hit right in the center where you took that thermal couple out. So a little helpful note, if you don't have the probes that have the cover on them that just leave the tip exposed, take some electrical tape and put around your probe so that just the very tip of it's exposed. Because when you do this, it's like playing the old game operation. You need to hit right in the center. If you hit in the side, you're going to get a false reading, okay? So you do that. I'm going to turn this upside and make it a little easier because of what I'm doing here. But this would be mounted. You touch your probe right to the center where that uh, pilot or thermal couple came out, and then you touch ground. If you get an audible tone there, that's telling you that this gas valve's good as far as the ECO. The ECO is complete, okay? That's how you're going to test that ECO. The next thing you're going to test on it is going to be your thermal couple. Thermal couple, testing it. The easiest way to test it is with it still installed. And I say that because of this. You're going to unscrew it from the gas valve, like you did to check the ECO, but leave the thermal couple in there. Use the pilot light to heat the thermal couple. The reason I say that, if you pull the thermal couple completely out and you don't have it hooked to gas, you're going to have to use a MAP gas torch or an LP torch. A BIC lighter will not get this hot enough for you to get the reading you need. But to take that reading, what you're going to do is you're going to set your meter on millivolts. You're going to take your leads, and if you leave this installed, it's another reason it makes this easier. You're going to take your thermal couple lead right here. You're going to touch one to the copper and touch your other one to your where your, your centerpiece that goes up inside. Then you're going to push that button and light that pilot to heat that up. When you're set on millivolts, if you got the pilot lit and you got heat going to this, that you should see it climb. A good pilot assembly or thermocouple assembly is going to give you between 20 and 30 millivolts of electricity. You need that to operate that gas valve. Most of them fall in the 24, 23, 24 millivolt range, but anywhere from 20 to 30 is going to be good. And that's how you're going to test that thermocouple. Remember, when you try to light a pilot, when you hold that button down on that gas valve, this button right here, you're, you put it to pilot and you hold that down. When you let go of that, if that thermocouple is bad, pilot's going out. But the thermocouple could be good. Remember, if the ECO is bad, could do the same thing. So you need to check both. And that's all I got for you on gas water heaters and valves right now.